Hey, so in a recent video, we talked about how it doesn't really matter what repetition range you're going to end up training in. So be that low, middle, or bodybuilding rep range or a higher rep range. And I didn't actually explain why, why or how that is exactly possible. So in this video, we're going to examine some of the physiology or a physiological explanation as to why it doesn't really matter which rep range you decide to train in uh, when it comes to building more muscle. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Understandably, there may be some confusion over the emerging evidence that your repetition range doesn't matter much when trying to build muscle. The reason being mired in the physiology. Bodybuilders have claimed for the longest time that muscle growth comes from microtrauma in the musculature, and they certainly are not wrong. However, how does this apply to those on either side of the 8 to 12 repetition philosophy? Well, None of this is completely understood, but it is speculated that the lowest repetition range group, meaning high intensity, like a power lifter, although the numbers of repetitions may be low, the movements are done under such extreme loads that they cause a maximal amount of muscular trauma. Granted, some of a powerlifter's lifting is predicated on an elastic bounce at the lowest portion of the lift, but this still does not discredit the notion that powerlifters use massive amounts of muscular effort to pull or push a weight back to its starting position. On the other hand, our explanation between bodybuilding rep schemes and higher rep schemes are non-existent meaning the reasoning for muscle growth is likely the same. It seems likely that with lighter weights than those used in one repetition sets as seen with powerlifting programs, there is a stronger concentration on time under tension. Essentially, you are focusing more on eliminating the elastic nature at the bottom of the movement, so a slower, more controlled approach to weightlifting is employed. So the distinction physiologically is that while intensity may be substantially higher in our powerlifting group causing the most damage per repetition, our other two groups focusing on repetitions between 8 and 20 or so see damage of the muscle fibers by controlling the eccentric portion of the lift and moving the weight without the goal of speed. So this slower tempo per repetition plus the added repetitions, even at a much lighter intensity, may lead to equal muscle microtrauma. This is pretty logical, but it's not necessarily correct, albeit plausible. So keep in mind that this is the current proposed mechanism, but is not the only possibility. Either way, the research does not lie. So stick to what you enjoy most. And that's that. That is the video. If, of course, you are confused by something that I said in the video, then feel free to comment below or you can also just check out the article which is free and it's linked below it's got my sources for everything that substantiates everything that i said this isn't just coming off the top of my head this is actually stuff that i read in peer-reviewed journals so if you want to look over that and look into more details then that is all linked below without further ado i will bid you adieu and I will see you, hopefully, in the next video. Have a good one. See ya.